All right, guys, welcome back. It feels great to be back here talking to you guys again. So I always feel like I need to start off with an apology for going so long between videos. But this one was kind of sparked by a comment I had read. I still like to go back and read your comments on videos. And so just a couple days ago, I saw this comment. And you guys know me, I cannot leave a comment like that unchallenged. So I'll go ahead and read it for you guys real quick, just in case you couldn't see it that fast. It says, yo, 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 man, I like the start of it. Where the hell have you been? Warranted. Went from top to bottom kind of quickly. Sorry, man, just my opinion, though. And that is fine, and I actually don't blame that viewpoint. Because I really feel like I have not included you guys in what I have been doing in the other parts of my life and what has been distracting me so much from getting content up here on this channel. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to discuss where the hell I have been and what the hell I've been doing. And we're going to do that today on Indoor Smokers right after this. So, all right, guys, first thing I got to say is I did not go from the top to the bottom. I went from the top to the top just of a brand new industry. And a lot of you guys know, probably about maybe a year and a half ago, I came up with this idea that I was going to start getting into e-bikes. Not only doing an e-bike YouTube channel, but that I was going to sell e-bikes and that I was actually going to carry my own brand and create a national brand of e-bikes. Now, I got into it early, before the whole industry really kicked off. I could see where the vape YouTube world was going. Not to put anybody else down, but anybody can look at any of the big reviewers from a couple of years ago, like where I was at, and look at the numbers now and where the views are at. And I don't really believe that's 100% organic. I do think there's been a loss of interest in the vaping industry. I mean, inevitably, a large percentage of our audiences either found a vape they love, they've got the store they go to, they just didn't need the constant reviews. A lot of them maybe went back to smoking, and hopefully, my big hope would be a lot of them ended up quitting vaping. They got off cigarettes, eventually got off vaping. I hear that all the time from people. So congratulations. But the interest just wasn't where it was back in 2013, 14, 15. And I think the main reason for it is that YouTube, basically the algorithms do not favor things like vape reviews. And so they have really put us in the basement and you just don't get the reach that we used to get. They don't even put our videos out there to the people who subscribe to our channel. I can't tell you how many times I've heard from people that they no longer get the notifications when my videos go up. So I guess you could say I saw the writing on the wall probably about two years ago. The last thing I was going to do was just languish in obscurity, allow the channel to diminish, try to just cling to what little views I could get and what sponsors I had left. I knew the time had come to branch into something new. So about 18 months ago, I decided e-bikes were the future, that that was going to be where my future laid and where the future of the country was. When I opened the e-bike shop, I started in a weird warehouse about 18 months ago. Here's a picture of me in the warehouse. And then I quickly was able to move from there to my first retail location, which honestly was a crappy ass little abandoned storefront that had been vacant for probably three years before I moved into there, but I did the best I could. It was what I could afford to try to create a proof of concept basically. And that was at this location. And then just last October, I was able to upgrade immensely into what I consider to be the best retail location in all of Central Washington, the Mills Brothers building. And check out this beautiful storefront. Yeah. 
So I have to say, when I started out with the e-bike idea, really nobody believed in it. Nobody supported me. Even my own accountants told me they thought it was a stupid idea. They literally said to me that if there was a market for e-bikes, somebody else would be selling them. Now, the idea was if it was profitable, somebody else would already be doing it. And the only thing I could think is that's probably exactly what they told Henry Ford. You know, like, look, man, there's no demand for the automobile. We all got these covered wagon things. If there was such a big demand for automobiles, somebody else would already be making them. Well, that's a great way to never be first at doing anything. Somebody's got to be the first, man. Somebody has to have the vision and the foresight to see what everybody is going to want tomorrow. I'll guarantee you they told Elon Musk that. I mean, oh, if there was such a demand for electric vehicles, Ford and GM would be making them. Well, guess what? Now Ford and GM are making them, but they're 10 years behind Elon Musk. So anyways, I was able to upgrade our storefront and get into, like I said, what I consider to be the best retail location in all of Central Washington. We do have the best booming e-bike retail location in all of Central Washington, but that's not what my goal ever was. I never just wanted to have a successful store here in the small market where I lived. My goal from the beginning has been to launch a national e-bike brand, and I'm happy to tell you guys that is something I find finally accomplished and I have some shots to show you guys today from the manufacturer who is producing my custom e-bike model the green motion e-bike so here are a couple of shots of what my brand new line or fleet of e-bikes is going to look like check these beauties out So those e-bikes are going to be available in the store right here in Wenatchee, Washington. For anybody who is local or lives in Washington State, you will be able to get those at my retail location starting next month at the beginning of June. And even more exciting, for anybody who doesn't live in this area, you will be able to get these nationwide starting this fall. We are going to have them available on my website, greenmotionebikes.com, as well as on Walmart. So that is freaking exciting. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, oh, I knew it all along. I never doubted it. The fact is, man, I've had a ton of doubt, a ton of second guessing, a ton of questioning my decision. Was everybody else right? Were my accountants right? The first four months when I moved into that first location I showed you guys, I didn't sell a single e-bike. All of November, December, January, February, nothing. My only hope was that spring was coming and that people with the good weather would start wanting to get out and start biking and then what happened? Fucking COVID hit, man. Hit me right across the chops. We get closed down for two months, all of March and April, bringing my total to about six months of almost no sales. But we did actually do by appointment only through March and April, and we sold some e-bikes. So that was my first sign of hope that I was like, hey man, we're closed down with nothing but a sign on the door, and I'm starting to see some interest picking up in e-bikes. Well, once we reopened again for May, Everything had changed, man. Something, it was like somebody had flipped a switch and all of a sudden everybody was interested in e-bikes. Everybody was curious about them. The store started getting busy. We started selling e-bikes, not a ton of them, but enough to at least break even through the summer and basically going into the fall where things slowed down again. But I was able to develop my very first custom green motion e-bike. We only had one model to start with. I took all of the things I had learned from customers' reactions 
reaction to the e-bikes we carried, what they liked, what they didn't like, what they loved, what they were most looking for. I put it all together into a step-through version with a five-level pedal assist, LCD screen, speedometer, odometer, trip odometer, the five-level pedal assist plus the throttle, making it a class two e-bike, racks and fender standard, and basically put that on the floor and it became quickly my best-selling e-bike. It was the most popular e-bike. We quickly sold out of the entire fleet of them, which I believe was about 20 at that time. And I have now been able to expand that into three different models of e-bikes. I think you guys have seen some of them from that video so really we have something for just about everyone and we are soon to be expanding into five different models of e-bikes so we're going to be adding two more models to our already three model deep fleet of e-bikes coming out so i am really excited to let you guys know i have not been resting on my laurels. I have not just been languishing on what I had accomplished here. And I really have not overly promoted what I've been doing with e-bikes on this channel because I did not just want to live off of the success I had had here on Indoor Smokers and, you know, try to get a bunch of people, a bunch of people interested in vapes to follow me on the e-bike channel, you know, who might not really be interested in e-bikes and just build my numbers that way sort of artificially. I wanted to do it organically. I wanted to do it for real. I wanted to prove not only to other people but to myself that I could do it again from scratch and not only promoting other people's products this time but promote my own products I would have the website I would have the store I would have the models of e-bikes and I would promote those on my own YouTube channel so it has taken a little while but everything is finally coming around to fruition and it is finally happening that we are gonna have a national brand launched by this fall so i am proud of that i'm happy about it like i said it was never a guaranteed and there were definitely a lot of sleepless nights and i'm not somebody who has sleepless nights very often for people who watch my channel for years you know i'm generally the happy go lucky take it easy kind of guy but man i've probably been through more stress and more second guessing and more anxiety over the last year you know than i have in the last 10 years and of course, I do have to give credit to my ex-wife, Kelly. You guys know her from the channel here. And so I don't want to say nobody believed in me because I think Kelly had her doubts. But the fact is she stuck by me. She stuck with me. She followed me through each of the business models as I lost all my other employees and had to give up my editor even and start editing my own videos again. She never lost faith. She didn't necessarily see what I saw and what I believed was going to happen with the e-bikes, but she believed in me. And she said, I'm going to follow you where you go that's the decision I've made and I feel like I'm back in the right horse and now of course she is really happy about that fact as we are finally starting to see some success coming from that decision gonna take a quick vape guys hang on here so I don't want anybody to feel like I'm bragging or you know trying to show off I just want you guys to know that I didn't take the opportunities that you guys gave me the support you guys gave me that allowed me to build up a little bit of finances in order to launch this whole endeavor and think that went to waste. I want you guys to know that I have fought for every ounce of success that I've had from then till now. And basically, I've never lost sight of the fact of how much I owe you guys. And I will say it, even YouTube as well. You guys gave me that 18 inches of daylight. I like to use the example... Gale Sayers, a running back for the Chicago Bears, one of the great running backs in NFL history. He used to say, all I need is 18 inches of daylight and I'll do the rest. And of course, I was talking to his offensive line, literally talking about a physical 18 inches that he could get through in the line and he would do the rest. And for me, YouTube and you guys, the people who supported me, the people who watched my videos, you gave me my 18 inches of daylight. I was able to hit that hole running and not stop until now. So I have not rested, I have not taken it easy. I took what a year and a half ago was just an idea and I created it into a reality. But I have always been grateful. I have always stayed focused on just how lucky and how blessed I have been to be given the opportunity I was given to and then
then to actually fall into an industry that really has taken off. They said toilet paper and e-bikes were the big winner of the pandemic, basically. So I can't take credit for knowing that. I can't take credit for knowing what was coming. I just had a feeling, I had an instinct that e-bikes were going to be the next big thing. And I do think that has proven to be true. Forbes magazine estimates that there will be 100 million e-bikes sold between now and 2030. Basically, one in three Americans will own an e-bike by the end of this decade. And my goal isn't to be the number one producer and seller of e-bikes or even the number two. I don't got to be Coke or Pepsi. I'm fine with being RC Cola, man. I will just take that little sliver. My goal is to get 1% of that e-bike market. 1% would be a million e-bikes between now and 2000. 30 and at fifteen hundred dollars an e-bike you guys can do the math to see what that would add up to so even if i only managed to do 10 percent of that it would still be an amazing success but i do want you guys to know no matter what happens with the e-bike business how much that takes off how far we go with that i have no plans of giving up my audience and my channel here on youtube indoor smokers will always be something precious to me something that i will always be grateful for for the rest of my life just like i'm grateful for each and every one of you out there who supported me and got me basically on the start from where i was 10 years ago which was basically nowhere working at a non-profit for an hourly wage to find in my voice my confidence to finding people out there who wanted to hear what i had to say so i want you guys to know i may be going in a different direction i may be getting more into the topic videos more of the history type videos more of the story times but i will never give up this channel or give up indoor smokers so we'll see where that progresses to and yes as another comment asked i am going to be doing that video about losing all that money in the stock market and let you guys know what happened that was a couple of years ago when that happened to me so i'm going to get into that story time video and i have a lot of other video ideas planned so now that we've kind of gotten over that initial first year of growing the business now that i've got a little bit more stability now that i'm in that great retail location now that i have my custom line of e-bikes designed and manufactured and ready to go i do think i'm going to have more time to start doing videos over here and to be honest with you guys it's not like I just haven't had the time to do the videos because I can find time in the evening to shoot these videos. If anything, guys, it's been more the mental capital that I just felt like I haven't had. As you guys know, I like to come out here with something to talk about. I don't just want to come out flat, feeling like a zombie going through the motions with you guys. I always want to be able to inspire and entertain when I come out and shoot these videos. So I do think I'm going to be able to recapture more of that mental energy to focus into this channel, come back stronger and better than ever so if you haven't left this channel yet then don't do it now because we are going to have some new awesome content coming up and other than that just thank you again everybody so just want to tell you guys again how grateful and appreciative i am and for everybody who's been commenting everybody who's been still supporting me asking where i've been telling me you want me to come back and shoot videos even richard kid who gave me the comment that sparked this little rant today i appreciate all of you out there and i did feel like you guys deserved a little bit of an explanation of what i've been doing for the past year so i hope this sort of lets you guys know where i've been at and what i've been able to do with the support and the success that i have from indoor smokers and that i am turning that into something productive but all right guys as always just have yourself a wonderful vaping day and i will catch you guys right back here within the next day or two with a brand new product to take a look at from you well might look a little something like what we've been vaping on tonight Vapesters, I am out. Peace. Catch you on the next one. And then there was one thing I really wanted to ask you guys if you could do me a huge, huge favor and you guys know i don't ask you guys for nothing man except for your views here on this channel so in central washington the biggest newspaper is the wenatchee world and every year they have a best in the world contest for all the different categories retail hair salons hardware stores pet shops and 
bicycle stores and we have actually been nominated for the best in the world bicycle store so i'm going to put a link underneath this video if you guys could click that link and vote for green motion e-bikes as the best bicycle store in central washington i would be eternally grateful i really want to win this contest it would be a feather in my cap and it would go a long way in this area to showing people that we have a great bike shop here and i'm up against some pretty stiff competition like trek which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. It is a franchise of a big national brand. I really want to beat those some bitches. So you guys would do me a huge, huge favor if you would just click the link below this video. Vote. It won't cost you a penny. Just a moment of your time.